welcome what a project i've got today i'm really excited about this one i've got a lovely box hedge and i'm going to be doing some work on it to start the initial stylings towards getting this into a really nice bonsai tree hopefully i've been really fortunate in getting hold of this plant my let's have a see it's me brother-in-law's dad didn't want it he asked me if i could do anything with it but this is the kind of plant you can pick up on facebook marketplace people give them away sometimes or you can pick them up for like 20 30 pounds and they make really good bonsai so let's have a look at the structure so this is the real sort of action area of the tree we've got lots of nice low healthy growth but i need to be able to see what's going on at this base so my first job is to just remove all this lower growth because I suspect it'll be some kind of clump style uh, bonsai in the end a lot of box end up in this kind of uh, form because they naturally grow with multiple shoots at the bottom but the first thing is to just get in and get rid of all this low stuff I'm using my hybrid cutters to just take my time and just remove all all this all these low branches Without going crazy at all, I am going to just have a quick peek at these roots because I can't help it, basically. <laughs> no great reason. I just want to have a look and see see what is down there. And it's so pot bound though, I think. This plant's been here in here for many years. I don't even know if I'll be able to do this without doing it properly. And as I say, I don't want to no i'm not going to do it i'm going to leave this for next year now's the part which for me is the most interesting and the most fun and it's looking at the structure of the clump style and deciding which trunks to remove and which to leave for an interesting tree so let's let's look closer in again i really like this view here my only pro possible issue is these two trunks which are really quite close together but I'm wondering if with a bit of wire I can pull those apart and when I do I quite like both of those in place I could almost wedge something in at the bottom to hold these apart aside from that when I rotate the tree it looks really good from all angles so I'm not going to remove any of these trunks so I'm not doing any root work I'm not cutting any of the trunks what am I doing you may ask I think it leads me on to what I will be doing, which is really cutting this back and pruning it quite hard. As I look at the structure, there is some quite nice taper into these branches. So I think what I'll mainly be doing is chopping off the largest of the branches. Before I can get into the structure of this tree, I need to just remove the height. It's just way, way too bushy and I just can't see what I'm doing. So. All I'm doing at first is taking all these long leggy shoots back so that I can sort of see what I'm dealing with because at the moment it's uh, it's just too hard there's no light getting in there and so I'll just take these down and box box it is a hedging material in the same way as a privet privet is so they really respond real very well to hard pruning like this and you can do it at any time of year that's why they're so good in many ways for bonsai and i would say for a lot of people 
or a horsefly. I'm terrible with them horseflies, but uh, yeah. So initially, I know that I can cut this back without doing any harm to the plant. I can just get rid of it. It's really enjoyable, to be honest. I love, uh, I love doing this sort of work. I was saying earlier about the availability of box. You can buy them from garden centres really cheaply as well. I know B&M Bargains were selling some fairly mature ones at the one in Preston. And they were only, I think they were like £14. Which, as a piece of material to, to learn on and to practice some of your bonsai techniques on, I think it's fantastic, but even better if you can go on Facebook Marketplace and buy something like this, which is even older and it's got that real character in the trunks. So I'm beginning to get down into it now so I can see some of the structure. I'm just going in and pulling out some old bits of cobwebs and bits of insects and stuff. I wouldn't want to be doing this in Australia. I get quite a few viewers from Australia. It must be popular over there, bonsai. And I do, uh, I sometimes think it must be a bit frightening <laughs> doing work like this when there's the funnel web spiders or is it the funnel webs or the, the black widow or we don't need to worry about anything like that over here. But then again, I had to wait for the rain to stop <laughs> before I could start filming. And it's, uh, it's the middle of June. So that's, that's looking a lot better now. I can begin to see where I am structurally with this tree and I can begin to individually select some of these trunks and start turning them into almost into individual trees in terms of taper so we'll zoom back in and start making some decisions i'm going to work one trunk at a time so this trunk it comes up i'll just pull that dead leaf out it comes up here it divides into two which is nice so i like that taper well in fact no it initially divides into two here and then as this goes up this divides into two so I do have the option of a, a thinner branch there but I do quite like this but for me this one here is just getting too long so I'll cut that off there and I'll cut this one off here now there are more trunks coming out from the back of it I'll just get rid of some of these branches so you can see no there's just one more branch here so we've got one two three main branches they're all coming from the same place which is not really ideal because I, I want to avoid inverse taper so this is the main branch, the main trunk here. I've got a little skinny one in the middle that I'll get rid of. And it's essentially now, I'm beginning to see the structure of this, just this here. So we've got three coming from a very similar place. I need to pick one to get rid of. If I rotate the tree round this way, they're all in kind of nice places. You know, there's, there's none that I don't like. However, I've got this branch coming from this trunk here. So ultimately, I've decided to remove that branch. So that's now comes up, splits, splits again where it splits over here I'll do the same 
I'll take these up a bit higher though because they've got some taper to them. There we go. So that's one, one of the trunks dealt with. Now, this next one, which for, is a little further back, this comes up and has got one main trunk, which I quite like. However, it gets quite thick up at the top. So up here, see how thick it goes? I don't want that. I want it to taper into this thinner branch. And again, I want this thinner branch to taper into another thinner branch. So I'm just working my way through, trying to explain my my sort of thought processes in terms of this branch selection. And this is just sort of the initial, the initial cuts. There is a branch. The first trunk that I had has got this branch back here. Which forks into two. So I'll take one of those off. Right now, what have we got here? This is an interesting trunk. It's got some character to it. I like the way it bends and comes forward, but then I think it's too thick past this point. I want to add some taper into there. So I'll take that off. And I, I just want it turning into one branch. And so I'll get rid of that one. That's nice. I like that one. There's a kind of dead one in there. Which I'll get rid of. This is one of the thinnest trunks. It's almost a sort of twin, twin trunk of this one. And I quite like this. So I'll just sort of prune that back. Now here, what have we got here? This has got nice taper. It's got nice character coming up, but then it just carries on thick here. And I want that to have some taper so I'll remove the thick one from the center it then goes into two so I need to select one of these and I'm going to select this one that's coming towards the camera there's also one at the back that I can get rid of because I need to keep the center sort of clear to a certain extent having done that I will just Take that kind of nub off just to add a bit of extra taper. Yeah, that's nice now. So that's a sort of twin trunk coming up. Trim these back. Excellent. Now that's an interesting trunk, I like this one. So it comes up, it's got a, a trunk at the back, which I'll just show you first, which is kind of coming out here, but it's banging into this other tree. And so, I'm gonna take that off. Get rid of that. Wasn't working for me that one. And now I can see the rest of the structure of this tree, which is, again, quite interesting. We've got too many coming from one, too many sort of trunks coming from this one point here. 
I think this big thick branch at the bottom is too thick. So I'll get rid of that. This is nice. I think this one is quite thick. You know, at the end of the day, lots of these have to go. So, you know, you've got to make some decisions and get rid. Get rid of some of these uh, branches. I think this is a bit of a weird one. So I'll get rid of that. This is good. I like this one. And then I've got this trunk here that comes up and divides into two. Which I like. Now this one here comes up, I've already dealt with that to a certain extent. Some of these branches are too long. And we've got a, a slightly awkward tree right in the centre, so it's just coming right up in the middle of the composition and I think it's be better if I remove that let's get in there get rid of that oh yeah I'm trying to get right down in with my cutters to really cut that back there we go that's better. Yeah. Well, that's nice because that's really opened that centre up now. So I'm just stepping back for a second and having a look at kind of where I've got to with this and, and where it's still too heavy and too thick. And to me, this area here has still got too much going on. I think this branch at the back there. Is that necessary? Do I need that? I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't need that one. So that can go. Right. Now. This still feels quite congested in this area. This is the last area of congestion. And I think it's this branch going backwards here. That's kind of clogging things up. So, I'll just get rid of it. Well, I'll, I'll initially just cut it back. Yeah, I'm going to leave it on. Just like that. So that's really cleared things up. Is there anything there that you think is not right? That's not working? I'm just looking around now, trying to work it out for myself and I will take the height down just a touch. Yeah, yeah, I think that's quite nice. 
I'm back with these two trunks that I mentioned earlier that I like, but they're a bit too close together. So I've just got a piece of wood. And what I'm going to do is wedge them apart. And just put a piece of wood in between them. And I'll leave that there now. That can stay there for 12 months while these grow into the new position. I've just been around this tree applying cut paste to the wounds and I've just noticed this trunk here it's just too thick and it, it doesn't really match the rest of the trees in this composition so this is one that I want rid of. That was great fun. As I say on all my videos when I'm doing this type of work in particular I love that creative process and I think this might go on to become quite a nice tree in the future. I won't do anything with it now for the rest of the year, it'll be left in this pot to grow healthy, put on some strength and I'll be returning to it in the spring to repot it into a shallower pot and to look at the roots. So if you'd like to see how it develops along with all my other trees hit subscribe and as always thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.